sponsored by 666bet.com. This is Coogan Cassius for Eiffel TV in association with Macklin's in Marbella. We're in Dublin here at the Three Arena for the return of the Mac. With me, I've got Gary Spike O'Sullivan. Well, everyone was kind of uh, tuning in and sitting down to watch a war between you and Fitzgerald and uh, a very fast start of you and ended early in the first round. You must be over the moon with it. Yeah, very happy, of course. Um, I predicted a win in, inside the distance, you know. I did predict that before the fight. Um, I feel really good, really strong, you know. And very mobile in the training I've been doing, and um, I was confident. And, you know, it went well. It was something that Hassan Adam and Andy Lee, who were both fighting for world titles now, couldn't do, you know. Uh, so I think that puts me right up there at that level, and uh, I want to fight Matthew Macklin next. Okay, we'll come on to that in a minute. Was um, was that the the plan then to to take him out early or to to approach it that quickly? Because like I said, you know we were sort of gearing up for a war between the pair of you. But he, well, I just spoke to Anthony now, and he said that he didn't expect that start from you. So was that always in the game plan to approach the fight that way? Well, I trained to fight intensely for the ten rounds. You know, I was going to keep a hot pace. I intended to keep a hot pace for the whole duration of the fight. I'm in really good condition, as you can see, and um, you know, uh, I just I, f- I was confident I get the knockout, and you know, I just felt like I was going to keep keep a hot pace. And I think, you know, and it's hard to keep up a pace like that. And I've trained very, very hard. I've had very good sparring partners like Martin Murray and uh, Frank Bullioni, Luke Keeler, and Glory the Cuban lad. You know, it's been four really, really good sparring partners. You know, and uh, sparred with Ian Timms and Stevie Holland Jr. who are big guys as well. And, you know, it's a trend hard. That's what I'm going to continue to do. I mean, this was no discredit to Fitzgerald. These things can happen in boxing, and Absolutely. tonight was your night, and it wasn't his night. These things do happen. He has to, go, you know, go back to square one now. But moving forward for you, uh, you were out to kind of make a statement tonight, and you did that. Yeah, well, you know, for Anthony, I am. Um, you know, he, he was talking about moving down to late middle, I think, before the fight. So maybe that would be a better option for him. You know, and I wish him the best of luck and. Um, I'm sure he can come back, you know. Mm. Um, like I said, moving forward for you now, um, spoke about Matthew Macklin, uh, who's fighting in a, in a little while. I think he's actually on in about 10 minutes. But this is a fight you're going to be eager to chase now. Yeah, I've been eager for, for a long time. I really fancy that fight for a long time. Stylistically, he'd suit me better than Billy Joe Saunders as well. You know, and um, to fight I fancy. You know, and um, I don't think, I don't know if he wants that fight. You know, but he's you have to give Matthew credit. I always I have great respect for Block. He's a very nice guy. I like him a lot. Um but this is business and I've got three kids that I wanna provide for and make a lot of money, you know, and give him a good life in the future, you know, so um he's another wrong on the lever I want it on the ladder for me and I wanna step on top of him now next and get up to the top, you know, get the world title fights. You know, but I do you gotta respect the block. He's been in with the best fighters, Kennedy Glavkin, uh, Sergio Martinez, Felix Sturm. You know, and he's been in some great battles. Does a fight between you and Matthew Macklin uh, depend upon what happens tonight? Because if he's to win tonight, obviously he's on course for a shot at the WBC title. If that's the route he's going to go down, mm-hmm. and uh, he may not look to you then, but another result may put that fight in your favour to happen. Is that how you look yeah, at well, it? Well, you know what? No, I, well, I think I think if he wins, <clears throat> you know, he's looking for the Miguel Cotto fight. And if he gets that fight, best of luck to him. Go ahead and go for it. And, you know, I find maybe Chris Eubank or after Billy Joe kills him. But, um, you know, if he doesn't get Miguel Caro, I'm right here. I want the fight. It'll sell. Matthew Macklin's family originally hail from Tipperary. I'm from Cork. I'll give you a little bit of education in Coogan on Ireland, Irish sport. Um, Cork versus Tipperary is a massive, massive, it's like Liverpool versus Man United in, in England huge in Ireland, Cork versus Tipperary. It's a no-brainer. Stylistically, we make it for a good fight. I'm sure the fans would love to see it. You know, I'm up for it. And uh, we can bring it to Cork. We haven't had a big fight in Cork since 1995, when uh, my mate, Stevie Collins, beat the head out of um, that little... What am I gonna say about him? I don't know what to say about him. You know, you know what I'm talking about. His daddy got beat, beat up and down in Cork twice. Um, you know, so it, Cork has had huge fights before, and uh, I think we, people would absolutely love another one. It's a no-brainer. Sells. All right. Well, like I said, we'll see what happens after tonight, and then uh, 
we'll see what the possibilities are next year. But like I said, you've uh, made a good statement here tonight, and um, we'll see where it takes you next year. Yeah, go good. I'm going to be champion of the world next year. I just want to add, someone threw some, a stool at you, an orange stool. <coughs> yep. And any thoughts on that? Well, it wouldn't bother me too much, you know, getting the belt to stool. You know, it hit me a little. It doesn't, you know, I, I'm tough. I, I'm, I'm hard. Bungs off me, so I'm okay. But uh, I think it's um, bad for Irish boxing. You know, it's the first time Sky have been here in, in the Republic since 1995 since Steve Collins, Chris Eubank, and uh, I think, uh, you know, it wasn't a good thing to do. The person that done it should be ashamed of themselves, and, uh, you know, they're a bad example, you know. It's not. It's not a good good thing to do. Maybe they were just offering you a seat. Yeah. I wanted me to put my head on stand on stand on my head on it. <laughs> um. All right. Well, listen. Um. Spike, thank you for giving us a little bit of your time tonight and all the way through the week as well. Appreciate it. And uh, like I said, we'll see what happens with Matthew tonight. And uh, yeah, I wish him the best of luck tonight. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's hope he. Uh, yeah. Gets past Highland tonight. Yep. Some big fights for next year involving everyone. Definitely. It's going to be a great year next year. Absolutely. Can't wait. Absolutely. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Kevin. God bless. The Big Fight. Sponsored by 666bet.com.